If you imagine yourself hanging around in space, you'd probably imagine it to be pretty quiet, and rightfully so. Sound can only travel through a medium, which could be a gas, liquid, solid, or plasma. Inside the vacuum of space, sound waves aren't able to get anywhere, and so our universe outside of Earth seems like it should be quite the silent film-esque experience. In the past 40 years, though, we've been able to hear sounds coming from Jupiter, Saturn, dying stars, and solar flares. Take a listen. How is this possible? First, let's think about what sound really is. Say you are playing music from a speaker. The speaker diaphragm vibrates, propagating through the ear and causing that ear to vibrate and form a sound wave. Your ear detects this wave, transmits the information to your brain, which processes it as a sound. Space is not a perfect vacuum. It consists of particles like plasma, neutrinos, dust, and cosmic rays. Even so, the density of these particles is too low for sound to travel well, and so scientists have learned to listen to other types of waves. In 1977, NASA launched Voyager 1, which became the first man-made object to leave our solar system. Around March of 2012, a solar eruption caused the plasma around the probe to vibrate. Researchers then took those waves and used software to amplify them up to frequencies that humans could hear. When Voyager 1 was inside the heliosphere, the tones were relatively low. But after leaving the heliosphere, the tones jumped to a higher pitch, which corresponded to the greater density of the new medium surrounding the spacecraft. This recording became evidence that Voyager 1 had entered interstellar space. Other recordings are made using large telescopes and other spacecraft, which detect high-frequency electromagnetic waves called gamma rays. Gamma rays are made of photons, which each have their own amount of energy and corresponding frequency. The higher the energy, the higher the frequency. After measuring the frequencies, scientists can convert the rays into musical notes. Saturn happens to be one source of very intense wave emissions, and thus a source of many interesting recordings. But in fact, this process of turning waves into sounds is one that is also very close to Earth. How is this so? Well, let's just say that the next time you listen to your local radio station, you can think of Saturn. The cracks you might hear are not so different from listening to the thunder of another planet.